beautiful sandy beaches of the Cayman Islands, usually bustling with the rich and famous away on an offshore jaunt, are today deserted. But this is not the second coming of some pandemic. It's not 2020 after all, that was years ago. Today these streets stand empty for a very different reason. Every loyal citizen and resident of these great islands, except for those two splitters, is at home awaiting the draw for the 2030 World Cup. There hasn't been this level of interest in a FIFA event on these shores since the days when Seth Blatter and Jack Warner were in charge, but Cayman football is on the rise, having persuaded Europe's best clubs to not only invest their funds, but also their youth academies offshore, they have now arrived on the grandest stage of them all. Will this nation of 60,000, the smallest ever to qualify for a World Cup, get a favourable draw to advance to the group stage? Or will they be thrown in with some of the big boys of world football? It's time to find out. Well, finally, here I am. Hello, everybody. Dodgy Gamer here, International Man of Mystery, managing obscure nations. So you don't have to. And yes, I've dragged it out a bit. I've teased. I've put something out on Twitter. If all's gone according to plan, I've put my intro and um, I've put my <laughs> my video footage of a kind of tropical-looking environment. Uh, little spoiler here: none of those clips were actually of the Cayman Islands. Um, but it's, it's all about building up to the World Cup. This is major. This is major stuff. This is what we've been aiming for since we started this save. An appearance at the World Cup. And you'll forgive me if I'm going to milk this like Farmer Giles' prize Jersey cow at 5.30 in the morning. But this is what we're here for. The draw for the World Cup is made today. We've been placed in the third part. Of course, this is the expanded FIFA World Cup tournament, the 48 team version, there's going to be 16 teams of three, so third pot doesn't mean that much, we're actually in the lower group of seeds. The competition is going to be hosted by Italy, so we need to find out who will be playing and which part of that wonderful country we'll be visiting. England are the holders, having won in the USA-Mexico-Canada tournament in 2026, after Holland won in 2022. So, a bit of a long run, stretching all the way back to 2006 of European nations winning it, and a different nation every single time. If we have a look at those qualifiers, well, we've got some huge names in world football. Of course, all the usual suspects are there. You've got Italy, you've got Brazil, you've got Argentina, you've got Mexico, although of course we can't play them in the group stage because we're from the same regional qualifying zone. You've also got a few surprises in there, like you've got Thailand in there, we've got Venezuela in there, Germany, France, Spain, England. These are all potential opponents. Belgium, Holland. Are we going to get the big boys? What do we do? We want to get the big boys. Do we want to have a massive match? Huge game. The 60,000 population Cayman Islands taking on the might of Russia or taking on Brazil, a huge country like that? Or do we want to get away with a draw that, against a kind of one of the smaller European nations and an Asian or African nation that we might have a chance against? Oh, I don't know. So in the third seeds pot, all the other teams we can't be playing. So we can't be getting Cape Verde, for example. That would have been a good team to play. Uh, Austria would have been one of the better European teams to play, maybe. But uh, Qatar, we won't be able to play because we're all in the same pot together. Let's just place all those third seed teams into their groups. Ooh, and all eyes on the Cayman Islands in group I. See what I did there? Okay, so all those teams have been drawn. We've got our first nations in each group. Now it's to see with those second seeds who's going to be the second team to come in there and face Cayman Islands. So we've drawn up to Group H. Well, Colombia are probably the biggest team to come out of the pot so far. Switzerland, Australia and Ireland may disagree. But out of the teams remaining in this second pot, I mean, we've got some big names from Africa. Algeria, Ghana, Cameroon, Morocco. 
we've got Serbia and Wales from Europe, we've got Uruguay, we've got South Korea. I don't really think there's any particularly easy game in there. So all eyes on Group I. Who's coming next? Oh my! It's Cameroon! Well, a double C. We'll take that. All right, that's all the second seed teams, the pop two teams out. Oh, we've got Australia and Austria together, just to confuse people. Interesting opponents for Cape Verde, having drawn Uruguay, uh, Ghana, Chile. I imagine not many of those top seeds would want to be drawn in Group P. And Group N, we're possibly on for an all-anglophone group there, with Wales and New Zealand drawn together. So, Italy hosts, of course, put into Group A, very easy group for them with Jamaica and Iran. Into Group B, we get Nigeria. That's going to be a tough group to call. Group C, likewise, Ivory Coast, Switzerland, Saudi Arabia, pick two out of that. Group D, interesting looking group, Portugal, Japan and Mali. Mexico, join Ireland and Thailand, or Thailand, not Thailand, in Group E. Belgium, Venezuela, China in Group F. Ooh, Brazil. We were hoping for Brazil, but they've gone. They get a quite easy path through to the knockout rounds, I think, having drawn Poland and Congo. France in with Colombia and Trinidad and Tobago. So who does that leave us with for Group I? Well, left in the hat, we've still got USA, who we can't draw because they're from the same zone as us. We've got Senegal, who we can't draw because Cameroon are already in there, so that leaves us with a choice from Argentina, England, Holland, Spain, Croatia, or Germany. It's going to be a big one. Who's coming? Oh my lord, it's Spain. Well, you can't get much tougher than that. Spain against the Cayman Islands. It's coming at the next World Cup. Argentina with Algeria and Russia. Senegal, Serbia, Qatar, that'll be the group that I think I just wouldn't bother watching, uh, to be honest. Group L, Holland, Uruguay, Cape Verde, interesting group, that one. England with Morocco and Paraguay, and Group M, Shades of Mexico, 86. And group N, I called it, it is in for Anglophone, as USA, Wales and New Zealand all go in together. Germany will be having terrible nightmares about the 2018 World Cup is there paired with South Korea and Canada as well. And that means, annoyingly, when I hit draw next team, this screen's going to disappear. But Croatia are going to be in Group P with Ghana and Chile. Another tough group to call. So there we have it. Confirmation of that World Cup group. Cayman Islands in there with Cameroon and Spain. So we're with the 19th ranked team in the world and the top ranked team in the world against our 78th ranked Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands handed tough group, says the world's most obvious headline. So we're looking forward to our Italy trip. We're going to be playing our games in Salerno and Naples. That's going to be a big party for the summer. I should point out it's 2030, of course. That means this is the centenary World Cup and Cayman Islands are going to be there. So you see those fixtures are now in our calendar, slotted into the diary for next summer. We kick off with, oh, Spain. Spain in the first game. That could be painful. Spainful, even. Ooh, and then Cameroon on the 23rd of June in Naples. Cameroon, of course, came to Italia 90 some 40 years ago and pulled off one of the great World Cup stories of all time. A shock win over Argentina in the opening match and then a run all the way to the quarterfinals. Can we channel the spirit of Cameroon with our plucky Cayman Islands squad? Do let me know what you think of our chances down in the comments. Be kind. Well, we've got our friendlies booked on the 3rd of June. It's going to be a big send-off for the team as we play Burkina Faso. I figured, you know, that'll get us ready for Cameroon. Similar opponents. We tried to get Italy uh, for a friendly in Europe. They said no. A lot of the other big European teams also said no. So we've gone with Montenegro instead. 
So as we finish on the squad screen, the interesting thing to see now is going to be those players, those ones who are holding out for caps for the England team. Will they be swayed around to the Cayman Islands now by our involvement in the World Cup? Well, that's what I'll be looking at when I name my next squad for the March friendlies. But for now, well, there was no match today. This was all about hyping up the World Cup, hyping up that draw. Hopefully it's got you hyped as well. Our next episode is going to be that match that I'm already kind of dreading against Spain. If you, dear viewers, would like to be involved, would like to contribute to that episode, do let me know. Just drop me a comment down below or send me a message over on Twitter. I'm looking for contributors, especially global contributors, ahead of this World Cup, just to build up some of the hype with a little intro montage for my next video. So let me know if you're interested in helping me out there. But for now, I do hope you've enjoyed the build to the World Cup. Uh, what, let me know what you think of our group draw down in the comments below. What do you think our chances are of coasting past Spain and skipping over Cameroon on our way to the knockout rounds? Um, drop a like if you've enjoyed today's videos. Uh, leave a comment, of course. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Dodgy Gamer International Manager of Mystery. I'll see you in Italy.